Welcome back to HFH Golf. Today we're going to be talking about the phase two of my build out. In phase one, we talked about the issues I had in the garage and the problems I want to, wanted to fix. We did fix those with this setup. Um, and then we found some new challenges we needed to address. So I'm currently finishing up phase three. The room is pretty much done. I got one more uh, piece of equipment to come in and then we'll show you kind of the final product in part three of this series. I'm really excited to show you that. We'll start this video by going through the room in the playing condition. So basically the lighting, the way the room is set up with the sim on. We'll talk about the different pieces of equipment briefly, try to keep this video short. And then at the end, I'll address some issues I still had with the room that I wanted to improve for phase three. So let's jump into it. To review, this was phase one. I didn't have a lot of footage from my first initial setup. This is what it looked like in the garage. As a reminder, my purchase was the sim in a box from Foresight Sports. And the challenges I had with that room were space, environment, uh, temperature control, uh, light control, and just the overall feel of the space. I wanted to have a much better um, ability to go from not playing golf to playing golf while also keeping the functionality of my garage. So this is the space that we moved into. This is the sport court in my basement. All right, as we walk through this room, I'm just gonna give you a brief overview of the equipment. If you look down on the left there, there was this little light. I used this as a starter light when I got into the sport court I couldn't see the ball. I couldn't have the light on because the light was super bright and it washed out the screen. When I shut the light off, I didn't have enough light. So I went and bought something very cheap. And this is a tip I have for you. You don't have to go buy the expensive thing first. You can troubleshoot with something cheap. Yeah, and, and use that item to really test out um, the problem you're trying to solve. All right, so this is just a simple pub table from hollandgameroom.com. You can go to the website and explore there for any items that you would like to add to your room just for some generalized seating um, a lot of different options to choose from heights number of chairs etc so um, this just works well i mean it just it's just a simple way to add some seating into the room it fits into the room nicely and uh, i've kept this for phase three as well all right so here we talk about lighting now this is just this is more of a production light so it has, um, it's Bluetooth enabled to have one on each side of the room. It does bring some targeted light, but not targeted enough. If you go back to the initial video that I showed with the lighting of the room, you could tell that it's still too bright. It washes out the screen. You don't get that nice, clear, bright image on the screen. So these are great if you're going to make some YouTube videos. These are lights that I use to do the opening and the ending of this video. But there's a better solution for um, your, your uh, golf simulator build out, which I will go into detail in video three. All right, moving down to my projector on the side cart. This is the BenQ LK 936ST. It's a 4K projector. It is a laser projector and is at 5,100 lumens. I will tell you, even at that lumen, um, intensity, you still need to control the light. So we'll show you at the end of the video what I did to help remove any direct ambient light from outside. Um, but this is a great projector. It gives you that ability to have it on the card on the side without um, having an image that's distorted because they do allow that keystoning. Now I did make a video on how to keystone this with the card on the side, which I'll link to in the description below. All right, moving over to the other side of the room, you can see this is where I have my computer. It's got a graphics card that allows me to do 4K for the projector and processing power that allows me to push that 4K uh, image out and has enough processing power to allow me to stream 4K videos while I'm playing um, with that 4K image. 
Uh, above that computer space there, just in the middle shelf, there's the Companion 2 Series 3 multimedia speaker system uh, from Bose. Um, they work quite well, and uh, they surprisingly give you enough, enough uh, quality of audio for this entire room. Okay, now we're moving left of the computer with this being right next to my hitting mat on the other side of my launch monitor. This is the 457 metal golf bag organizer. You can put a bag on either side of it. It has some uh, shelves and, and uh, drawers in the middle there where you can put head covers. I have my alignment stick and some of my uh, driver adjustment tools in there. On the top there, just below that top shelf, I have a little slide out compartment with a little dish from Target where I put the tees that I use um, for the uh, simulator. This works quite well, just a simple organizer. Uh, some people like to have their bags off in the back. Um, I like to have mine in this. I'm still using it in my phase three build out. All right, we're coming around. Here's the GC3. This is from Foresight Sports. It's camera based. They have the, they have the GC Quad as well, which has another camera on it. Um, my understanding is this is within a half a yard of accuracy of the GC quad and 50 RPM for your spin. So I, I think that if you're not needing all the club data um, and the putting information on it, that um, this, this works really well. I love the feedback I get on it. Um, the one challenge would be if you're playing right and left-handed in, in the same game, it's a little bit of a challenge to move this back and forth. Then you probably want to go with the overhead uh, camera based model, but I'm extremely happy with this launch monitor. All right. So we have the sim in the box. This is the setup for this room. Still, I did upgrade the computer and I did upgrade the projector since purchasing the hitting mat works great. The landing mats are fine as well. I still have them incorporated into my phase three build up, but we did change the canopy or the enclosure. We did need to add some side uh, net extensions. I believe some of their newer versions of the sim in the box have these with them. They Velcro to this. Yeah, it worked pretty well. You just get some sand, put it in the sandbags, and this will help protect uh, any uh, errant shots uh, and protect the walls, etc. All right, the last step was getting blackout curtains put up in my windows in the sport court. If I wanted to play golf once the sun was up, it just, the light that coming in these windows did wash out the screen quite a bit. And so we corrected that. Now, if you take a look at these two lights that I have on, I want to show this video one more time because you can see kind of how bright it makes the room. Now the light's a little bit more targeted, but it's still going to affect the quality of the image on the screen. I have since fixed that for the phase three build out. All right, there you have it. Uh, that was phase two of my build out. Uh, it was a much better space than the garage. We have temperature control. We have the appropriate amount of room for things to fit without it feeling cramped in there. You have more room to swing. Felt like you had more room to swing. And uh, it was a big improvement from the garage. Now, the issues I still have with it, uh, I still didn't quite figure out what kind of lighting to use. I have solved that in phase three. And uh, this area just looks totally disorganized. Cords are everywhere that... Uh, cart that projector is still side mounted on the cart I wanted to get that out of the way and, and mount it up above me ultimately I just wanted a really professional clean look which we did achieve with phase three if you want to learn more about the different items I will put everything I can in the description below with links you can go explore and and see if any of the items would work for you as always, I really appreciate you guys supporting the channel and watching. Uh, if this is valuable to you, I I'd appreciate you subscribing to the channel. And uh, thanks again, and we will see you next time.